He's had an anxious wait, but will he be ultra brilliant? Let's find out. It's Majur. Majur. I had no classical training at all, so I, I, I don't read music. I'm dreading the thought of having to put on a kind of cartoon caricature opera boy. You know, I don't intend to pretend to be Pavarotti because I'm not. When they played what they want me to sing, it was uh, a horrible realization that I've got myself into this. Pavarotti singing it, you know, it's, it's not really fair, is it? You know, the first thing you hear that you're going to sing, it's Pavarotti. Easy, huh? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> They've got me singing a, an aria from Rigoletto. Mitch will be playing the Duke of Mantua, and he's trying to seduce the Countess. She's married. He's a womanizer. Uh... Are you typecasting here? Is this <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? No, we are asking you to act. To act. act. <laughs> I want that characterization. Right. I want you to start moving outside of the just here, OK? I'm not uh, an actor, so I'm feeling a bit kind of out in the cold right now. It will help you enormously to, to do the character. Yes, because... It's just one thing, you know, getting a Grammy for your vocals, but, you know, I've now got to aim for an Oscar as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, this is good, this is great. Rolando can live the character, he becomes the character, and I'm just a bit more self-conscious. <laughs> Just hours before the show starts, he's still struggling with the actor. I don't want to see Mitch the pop star. I want to see Mitch, the Duke of Mantua. <laughs> Will he win the Oscar? He's the playboy, Duke of Mantua. And he can win the heart of whichever woman he wants. It's Mitch Ewer. <laughs> Questo quella per me per i sonno a quant'altro ed intorno, intorno mi vedo, io mi corri, l'impero non cedo, meglia d'una che ad altra beltà, da testiro e menenzi qua dono, di che ho fatto le fiorà. Costanza, tirana del cuore, detestiamo qual morbo, qual morbo crudeli. So chi vuole, si serve fideli, non va mur, si non fe libertà. De mariti il geloso furore, del diamante le spagne da rido, a godargo. Cento chi ti sfido, se mi pungi, se mi pungi, a una qualche beltà, se mi pungi, a una qualche beltà. Stage. Let's see if the panel feel the same way. Catherine. Uh, Midge, it seems to really suit you having a live audience because as soon as you came out then, that was the best that we've seen you in terms of the character. So I really, really enjoyed that. I think you forgot, I think you got a few words wrong. I'm not sure. I think you might oh, have yes, been you in the... Oh, yes, you got some words wrong. I think I you got a few... I apologise to Italian viewers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you, and you got into the habit of throwing the, the tar away at the end. You know that. Um, but you know what? It was a really entertaining performance, so I enjoyed it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Uh, he did throw it away a bit, yeah, but, uh, but the great thing is you g did the number. You absolutely gave us the number, which is fantastic. You have great charm and uh, a great vivacity. The, unfortunately, this character is one, like so many operatic characters, one of the nastiest characters in the whole of operatic literature. He's just a chauvinist male pig, basically. Arrogance is the heart of his character, and uh, you, you could go a little further with that, in my view. You could be more uh, shameless. He says, I don't care what anybody thinks about what I'm about to do, whether the women uh, uh, are upset, whether their boyfriends are upset, whatever. I mean, I have them, I can have them. Just a bit more of that. But I love your Scottish-Italian accent. <laughs> <laughs> of the aria because I think he started singing without singing right at the yeah, beginning yeah. of the aria yeah. you had not sung a note and you started already with your character I Total. thought that in terms no, of no that was fantastic that was wonderful. it was great very I mean, that, I mean, that is interesting come over yeah. there I agree been. with Catherine about the tars you know it, it, it's too easy to fall back on the sort of breathless singing this is not what opera is about but I also agree with Simon which was you need to be more of a duke and you were just being maneuvered around the stage slightly by all those women, which right. may be a good thing, <laughs> but, you know, when they were fawning over you, it was not Duke, but more Mama Duke to but me. You know, you know what? You know what? You know what? There are mentors. We are mentors. I must tell you something, Mitch. When I first heard you, I really didn't think you were going to make it. I didn't believe you were going to sing this aria. You are miles away from when you started. I'm very impressed with what, you've, what you have done, and I hope you're as happy with your performance as I am. Bravo, because you came a long way. A long way. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the panel, well, Orlando, from the panel, is happy. What about you guys? Did the Playboy Midge win your heart? If so, then vote for him, then lines open. Ladies and gentlemen, Majora. <laughs> After the break, we have the